Welcome back, everybody, for the very last of our updated Dynasties of India campaign fun times. Uh, we have the Old Tiger, what I would have called the most difficult scenario in all of AOE2 DE prior to the changes. I heard it's easier, but let's see for ourselves exactly what the changes are going to be. 1580 AD, year 30 of the reign of the Chakravati. Though the tiger grows old, his hunger does not leave him. It grows with age, driving him to fresh hunting grounds and giving him a taste for more dangerous prey. For 30 years, I have ruled Burma and made a dozen kings bow before me. But what will they say of my life? That I ruled by the sword and killed many men? That I, a king, was a slave to my desire? The old tiger is stubborn, but he knows when his hunger has gotten the best of him. My sons lead the army to conquer the Rakhine coast, the gateway to India. They are like their father once. Chasing in vain across the earth for their greatest victory. Alrighty then. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, Bayanong must survive. Bring Bayanong to the four Buddhist temples. You initially cannot train any units, but then we'll have a pop limit of 300. Um, your monks start with theocracy researched. Okay. Um, don't take too much damage from castles. Uh, Nanda and Thinga are here in Maraku. Maraku. Portuguese are hanging out, and the Rakhine are split into three factions. Oh, look, the East Rakhine, South Rakhine, and West Rakhine. Oh, I'm glad it's not just Rakhine times three. Um, okay, so the East Rakhine control a fortress. Um, and those are the Vietnamese ones. The South Rakhine are hanging out in the South. Duh. And the West Rakhine are probably the ones, well, to the West. Oh, and they're Bengalis. Alrighty. Let's get going. Oh, there's Thingadada. He's a mile to him who is tired, but short is life to him who is idle. Oh. I will go to meditate. We have fewer ships. Okay. Well, let's land over here still. I feel like our army compositions all... Wait, we have three castles. We used to only have one castle. Oh my god, wait, we have way more production buildings. And we have a market? We're living the rich man life here, guys. Okay. Yeah, so there's the Malay Rakhine, the Bengali Rakhine, and the Vietnamese Rakhine. And we also have more monks, for sure. Uh, we actually have four bombard cannons over here. Uh, I mean, let's try and get these conversions. All right, let's bring everyone on over. There goes that one. Okay. 
So we're going to go after the West Rakhine and the South Rakhine. Oh, they have a relic. Don't remember that being a thing. Oh, town centers. More town centers. Uh, we also are getting extra armor, which is pretty nice. But yeah. Oh, that's just uh, me getting Bainong back. Yeah, our army's way smaller, but I feel like their armies are also a lot smaller. Yeah, you bet we will. Uh, let's not just sit under castle fire. Yeah, we definitely have more trebs. I thought we only had like two trebs and two bombard cannons. Now we just have so much heavy siege. Uh, I think that's another relic, yeah. Oh, lots of relics, actually. Get him! Okay. Uh, where is Bainong? There you are. Start going after that. Heal up, everybody. Everything appears and disappears. There is no blissful peace until one passes beyond the agony of life and death. Something like that. My journey Here we are. Yet finished. I will go to another temple to meditate on the noble truths. Uh, let's just clean up the rest of those production buildings. It's really important to just snipe the production buildings as quickly as possible. Because they get infinite resources and you, well, don't. Perfect. Onward and upward. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, I think it's a little more built up over here. Oops, let's not just walk into that. Wild idea, I know. Well, let's just uh, keep on treb, treb, trebbing away. Should be a castle around here. Oh, all the temples look different now. That's the Malay Wonder. That is the Burmese Wonder. 
that is the Sangchi Stupa, which is just a, like a Gaia building. And this is the Bengali Wonder. Gotta love those Malay Knights. Mm -mm -mm. Get you. Uh, where is Bayerong? You go over here now. Oh, there's a lot of relics on the map. I guess until you don't just, in, like, have a very finite resource count. Like, you technically have infinite resources. And it's not like, oh, you run out of resources, then you lose. Yes, they can. The life of the single candle will not be shortened. This is called magic. I wonder if they added anything to the north. Because there used to be like some random units hanging out, but I don't think they were like stuff we could get ourselves. I think there's like a hunting wolf or something, or at least there was. I don't know if that's still the case. It was like right over here. Whoa! Elite Urumi swordsman? And a monks with two relics? Well, that's certainly better than uh, a hunting wolf that you can't do anything useful with. Easy peasy. Do you have a monastery over here? Yes, we do. Stand by your king, men of Burma. Protect the Chakavati. Yeah, protect the Chakavati. The Chakavati. So I guess if you're struggling, you can find 18 elite Rumi swordsmen and two monks. Is not to be feared by he who has lived wisely. Though the flame be put out, the wind remains. You even get some yurts. Or a yurt. Anyway, Bayanong should be, uh... My father has crossed the sea. Yep. I will mourn tonight, but today we have a city to conquer. Yeah, triple castles now is wild. Stand alone against us. Do not fight for glory. Fight for Burma, our history, and our future. That's from the first scenario. 
All right, let's just start getting upgrades. Pronto status. There go the West Rakhine. Yeah, having markets is pretty OP. Alright, let's go after the South Rakhine. I think we have way more production with which to work. I uh, never got a leap battle elephant. That is a pretty good one. Yeah, we don't have to go after those guys anymore. Let's get some more Rambai. Do all that good stuff. Guess we're getting stuff over here as well. It's actually hockey, these buildings. Wild idea, I know. Guess we'll just start bringing you guys back. There's just so many relics scattered around. So many relics. Oh, you're trying to remake a town center, that's sad. Uh, let's start going to town on those buildings. Oh, we also don't have any villagers anymore. But honestly, this is pretty easy. Well, there you go, the South Rakhine. Oh, wait, we have two siege workshops, even. We used to only have one. Oh, Portuguese are also trying to snag some relics. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Maybe there isn't a relic over here. Oh, wait, what about that one? Well, this is kind of really easy, guys. Like, we're actually going to hit our 300 pop cap. I don't know if we have more resources or they're just throwing way fewer units at us. Okay. 
Well, um, we're at like, you know, 300 military, you know? Keep on keeping on. I mean, I like how each of the Rakhine are different civilizations now. Also, Gajamata no longer made an appearance. Feels bad, man. I wonder how many relics there are on the map. Some incredibly large number. Remember when this used to be the big bad boss scenario in all of AoE 2? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Oh, whoops. Lol! You guys are a little stuck. Okay, here's the Portuguese. I wonder if the uh, Portuguese Wonder has like four keeps in it still or whatever. Oh yeah, you guys. Yeah, whatever. Go get them. Let's get you. We're already at six relics in total. There go the East Rakhine, and all we have left are the Portuguese, who have a much wider gate now. And they also don't make any organ guns. Yeah, three castles is absolutely ridiculous. You just get so many Alita Rambai. <laughs> and four stables for elephants. I seem to remember you only getting like three, which, I mean, it does make a pretty big difference. And also, do these guys not have infinite resources? Oh, also, Nanda doesn't need to survive. Oh my god. This army, man. We're at eight relics in total. Up there is Felipe de Brito y Nicote. Well, there's their wonder. Oh, yep, they got the towers in it still. Although they're only guard towers. Oh my god, there's two more relics. Yeah, see all the arrows coming from it? Oh man, caravels are sad. Wow. I mean, it's a fun little power trip with uh, Burmese, but at the same time, what's even the big bad boss scenario in all of AoE 2 now? Like, all of the tough ones have been made a lot easier. Bari 4, this one, Kotian Khan 2... Rejoice! Yeah. Or something. Alright, let's bump up the volume. My father did not live to see the conquest of the Rakhine. 
The doctor claimed the lung sickness took his life. But I know my father. No man who rode a charging elephant into throngs of Shan archers, who stormed the cities of the Tai, or who ruled an empire not seen since the ancient days would die from a mere cough. <coughs> no. My father left this world because he chose to. There was only one conquest left, worthy of a man like Bain Yang. I know legends will be told of him. I know old shamans will tell prophecies. But no deed would match his final act. Greater in battle than the man who would conquer a thousand men is he who would conquer just one, himself. How poetic. Okay. Uh, 399 kills to 192 deaths, mostly coming from the East Rakhine, but... We had nine relics captured. So there's 10-11... Twelve. So I guess there are twelve relics. Oh, thirteen. <laughs> Get like thirteen relics. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel about this one. On the one hand, it's a much more polished scenario, and it feels a lot more streamlined. The Rakhine bases, I think, make more sense, especially when you give them different civilizations and they kind of do different things. Uh, and that's definitely good. Uh, but on the other hand, it's just so much easier. <laughs> Just doesn't really feel like uh, the big bad boss battle anymore, which is a little unfortunate. <laughs> so I'd say overall for Bainong 2.0, uh, I think the first and third scenarios had some really nice, you know, redone versions. I think the second one was a little bit better. The fourth one is basically the same, but that's fine. And the old tiger is kind of like a side grade, depending on what you like. I mean, if you don't really need the, the huge amount of challenge, then I think the old tiger is definitely an upgrade. But it is a little bit unfortunate if you really do like that challenge. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the Dynasties of India campaigns that have been changed. So we we'll hope you guys enjoyed. And next up, we will uh, likely be returning back to some custom campaigns. So see you guys next time for that one.